Ah, oh, hello, hello, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, everybody. Here we are in our hall. It was a weird beginning, and uh, that banging sound that you're hearing is not a knock at my door. It's a bloody workmen who are working whilst I'm trying to play video games. How dare they? Anyway, here we are, and do you know what? I'm just playing some Dragon Age Inquisition. I don't really have too much of a plan for today. So let's start the day by uh, going through our equipment, because some people, not so much Marcus, have had some equipment changes, such as Cassandra. Cassandra, who is uh, rocking this new healing fiery vanguard coat that I made for her, which looks awesome, as well as this new seeker shield, which suits her a bit better than her Templar one, and it's better, so that's awesome. Also the griffin helmet, obviously. Sarah has just got a better hunter coat, not too much to say about her. Dorian looks amazing. <laughs> He's got his absorbing fiery enchanter coat and Marcus's hood. Uh, as well as now using Sunrise as opposed to Channeler. Also, I'm losing my voice, like, like two minutes into my recording session. This is not good. Hang on. I'm going to pour myself a beverage. My beverage today is a cranberry cocktail. Using cranberries, lemonade, and that stuff that you get at the dentist that you swirl around and then spit out to make it make it taste nice. So delicious. Uh, Blackwall uh, has also got a new not anorak style uh, Vanguard coat, which looks amazing as well. Ice Walker healing Vanguard coat. You know, I should maybe do the stats of this thing because some people are interested in that sort of stuff, but not many. So I'm not gonna bother going back. Cole's the same as he always is or has been. Vivian is probably the one of the most dramatic changes. I kept her Henin. Um, because it does look good with uh, this outfit, but she is now rocking the griffin robes, considering that she is the knight enchanter. She will make better use, I think, out of uh, more involved armor. So, yeah. What's interesting about this is that Vivienne is so proper, so noble, so austere, I guess is maybe a word for it, that putting her in something like this just kind of feels... <sighs> like, counter... Counter Vivienne. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna close my door so tune out that bang. Got a literal only just started as well. Hopefully that won't pick up on the capture, but if it does, I mean I have to do some Dragon Age Inquisition recording today because ah, it's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, at the same time. Whilst it's weird for Marcus to see her like that, I don't think it would necessarily bo bother Vivienne that much. Vivienne can wear her nice robes and stuff like that at parties and so on and so forth. But she's so kind of focused and so mission orientated, I think she'd be okay with this sort of stuff. It's just interesting. And maybe a turning point in the way I kind of like look at her to, to see her wearing something so practical and so ugly. <laughs> Dorian wore it way better, gotta admit. Solus the same. Varric is the same. I think I just gave him a nicer, uh, nicer outfit. And uh, Iron Bull has got this uh, also a Vanguard coat on, which are fairly cheap to make. Uh, and got his turquoise pantaloons, and that is very much that. Today, do you know what? I am inclined to do a couple of these. So, yeah, we got the Falomai artifacts, which unfortunately requires deft hands or something like that. Uh, do you know what, before we have a look at the journal, let's go to our war table, because we got a few folks ready to pour in, <gasps> and I can get to see whether I got Hunter Fell right. I looked back, I'm pretty sure I have. Hunter Fell, Hunter Fell, oh god, I'm nervous now. And we can send people on a couple more missions uh, before we get started today. My cat is just staring at the door as if somebody's knocking and about to come in. It's just work. It's just work. All right, in. Um, identify Venatory Agent. An excerpt from Best Hathrath information report. The target was eliminated and, as expected, all other targets went hiding. Okay, Duke Tithus did not locate our operatives during his search. Information the Duke found in the courts revealed the smuggler's venatory involvement. Hell yes! Duke Tithus has cut off trade with the Tevinter Imperium and is thoroughly investigating his city. Hunterfell is no longer subject to venatory influence. Per his request, Operative Iron Bull will receive further intelligence reports to continue his efforts. Supplies from Saharon have also been dispatched. That's awesome. And an elf snake Vitar. Bueno, bueno. 
The Serpent of Navarra. Inquisitor, I will admit when your ambassador first reports me with the claims regarding Varelius, I was unconvinced. Indeed, I did not heed the evidence even when it was presented. It was only when one of your mages, an apostate named Sidoni, managed... Why does that ring a bell? Uh, to drive the clouds from my mind that I finally realised the spell I had been under. Varelius has been imprisoned and will be on the lookout for any further efforts by these cultists to infiltrate my nation. Navarra is most grateful. So in the end, I, I chose not to capture the Venatory agent. Instead, I, I approached Josephine, who looks like it was she was clever enough to bring Sidoni. Why do I remember that name? I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments if... Uh... No, that was Sidonis, and that was somebody else. So it maybe looks like Josephine had the foresight to bring along a mage to potentially counteract some bad magical influence. Marcus Pentagast and a Magister Ice Staff. Oh baby, oh mama. Who else have I got? I think I sent Cullen on some kind of... Oh no, 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 yeah. Um, Inquisitor, we have begun sending soldiers along the road from the Foul Mire. I would like to pass on their considerable gratitude for being spared treks across the Frostbacks. Our healers seem happier as well. So yes, instead of using the route through the Frostbacks for spies or anything like that to get information, we just use it to increase our, our troops' ability and morale. I've been thinking that I need to do a couple more things for Colin, you know, bolster his soldier numbers and stuff, because I, I tend to prize um, influence and information ahead of whatever, uh, like, military might, which is fine to an extent, but probably not super practical in the long run. So you've got to find the warden here, and uh, I think I do want to. God, I've got a lot of power. I do want to be having a go at that. Um, hmm. That uh, main quest at some point quite soon. It's probably going to be the next thing I do after a, a few more side missions, because I heard that it's multi-staged and that I don't need to do it all at once, and all that seems pretty good. Um, what's this? They're venatory mages. Oh yes, yes. Uh, since you can't swing a dead cat without. Okay. Knowing personally venatory agents. Uh, thanks to an investigation I began, I thought we could put our heads together and track them down, at which point they would sneer something at you into winter and be forced to kill them. Okay. Uh, let us look into this carefully and quietly. We do not wish to alert the venatory to our awareness of their existence. We have former Templars, skilled at hunting mages. I can send them to follow Dorian's leads. If there are venatory out there, they'll show you their faces. Someone has seen them corner this is this. So either Liliana or Cullen, just instinctively, I'm thinking that's good. So let's see. Let's see who we can get, uh, if somebody else is more valuable on another mission. This has been something which I've been meaning to do for a little while. Search for the hack writer. And I still don't really understand this. First off, you play a mean hand for Wicked Grace. You know what? This is maybe something worth looking, like, into. So let me just look at the previous uh, parts of this quest and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so I had a quick catch up, and it's, it's actually a pretty simple quest, um, but I think that um, we're gonna send Liliana on this one. Let's see what we have. Because the other two are just like, I wanna, like, I'll get this person to talk to the magistrate courier, but Liliana's like, why is the courier a magistrate? And I, so I think she might be the best person to try and get to the bottom of this. Um, and as for Dorian's request uh, to change some, we do have indeed have formal Templar skilled at hunting mages. We do not wish to alert the Venatory to, the aware to our awareness of their existence. Again, cautious? Hmm. Tracking them down. Or you send Cullen at them and they go into hiding. Maybe let's sit back on that one and let Liliana take that one over as well. In the meantime, we'll nip over to our lane and see what new stuff we got. Here we go. A Chantry archive exists outside the city of Montfort in the lower chambers of the monastery, also known for its fine wine. Latters put the archives at risks. <laughs> okay. According to the abbess, uh, she recently sent word of the to the Inquisition that Lucius have come in search of wine, and that they will not listen to her assurances that wine is not actually stored in the lower chambers. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, they make the wine in the monastery and then they would send it away, uh, as people tend to do. Hmm. Without Templars to guard the monastery and lacking coin to hire guards, the abbess has asked the Inquisition to move the archives somewhere more secure, and will happily donate whatever might be of use. Okay. We have the manpower, I would gladly send soldiers in. Uh, so we do errands for the Chantry now, I say take what we need from the Abbey. They will think twice about approaching us for things like this. Um... My agents can determine the most important things to preserve and bring them to a safe house until order is restored. That's a difficult one. Mm. <sighs> T 
take what we need from the Abbey, take what we need from the Chantry Archives, but again, that... That kind of drives the antagonism up with the Chantry. It's kind of interesting for Josephine to want to deliberately not make peace like that, and I wonder what her motivation is about that. As to be expected in the wake of so many important deaths in the rise of the Inquisition, several noble houses are attempting to spur the fortunes by crafting a lance of their own. I remember this one. Um, be a long time for any of them threaten our, threaten our sta standing. Okay. Ambassador of the Hel Herald. Let's see. Noble houses attempt to spur their fortunes by crafting an alliance of their own. I think a diplomatic might will win out here, so let's send That's Josephine over to it. What about this? Plant crystal and... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't want to do that one. Um, and there's ro locate Reese and Evangeline. And let's take a risk with the archives of Montfort here. And just send Cullen over. Good luck, Cullen. Your mission time is longer, which makes me think you might not be the best suited for this, but whatever. We might as well... We might as well make friends. Okay, well there we go. That's uh that's the war table. Dusted for now. You know We've seen uh, Cassandra um directing troops before. We're pretty close to, to getting another perk, which would be nice. So it's interesting that Cullen is the one that's primarily in charge. I should check that stuff out actually. Um uh, let's see. Elf Snake Vitar, 10 damage. It's interesting that it does damage instead of... Hang on. Yeah, it's not an armor rating, it just does damage. Uh, attack willpower, I think that's just better. There you go. Why, oh, you can't even see it, you wouldn't even know it's there. Maybe that's valuable, so we've only got one Canari. Although it would have been interesting to play Canari in this, I wonder, I wonder how many people did. Uh, also weapons, uh, Marcus, we got a Magistar Ice Staff, which is very nice. I think that's better than, uh, what some other people have got. Let's see, Sarah. Dorian is currently working Sunrise. Which is 87 DPS, so that's, yeah, significantly better. But there's somebody, I'm sure, and it might be Vivienne. 55 DPS, the Imbued Enduring Rods. 58. All that stuff. I think, generally speaking, that is better. How about Solus? 6 do, yeah, okay. For the end, once again, going against your usual look of elegance, but still, what the hell are you gonna do? Yeah, Cassandra directs troops, but she must just be second in command, which makes sense considering that um, Cullen uh, trusts her with taking over for him should the Lyrium addiction become too dreadful. Uh, the Lurian withdrawal, I should say, become too dreadful. And yes, I was I was casting my mind back uh, to a couple of memories of Lurian withdrawal symptoms or Lurian addling symptoms that we've seen in the past. I mean, there were those couple of Templars that I said, the Chantry in... Remove, remove. There was a couple of, che of Templars that said the Chantry in... Denerim, back in Dragon Age Origin. Okay, I'm just going to sell the valuables for now. 15? Really? Oh, it was just... Oh, wow, that's really... That's peanuts. It's peanuts at this point. What the hell am I doing? Yes, I'm leaving. <sighs> yeah, that, that Templar just had no idea what they were doing. Um... I feel like there was an example in Dragon Age 2, but I can't really think of one to mind. Uh, but Lurium Adling obviously being like Sandal, for example, who is potentially Lurium Adled, who I wonder if he will turn up in this game. I suspect he will. Seems the way things are going. Alright, so let's have a look at the Fallow Mire. It's just the Elixir Requisition. I just need some more corpses for that, but it's just the Requisition Order. Uh, in the... Oh, there's so much stuff here. Storm Coast has... That near the Lurian Falls. Keeping the dark spawn down. Um, and it's up to the Inquisition to put them down, surfacing through the tunnels. If the tunnels are sealed, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a Requisition Order, so nothing too urgent there. Skyhold. Uh, oh, hang on. A better Courtyard. 
But I did the Chantry, and I've left since the Chantry. I wonder, I wonder, how do I get to the to the garden again? I wonder if they built that Chantry yet. Why do you have no mosaics? Ooh. Well, hang on, no, this isn't loaded in yet. There we go. So is that it then? This is Mother Giselle, hello? Ah, Inquisitor, you have finally come into your own. Hmm? The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. Did you make me Inquisitor? Interesting. I remember our talk out there, before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. Mm. But I did not make you stand against Corypheus. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. Hmm. I will need to. I'll do my best to earn this. You earned this in Haven. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? I don't think so. No, I'm good. I'm good. Farewell, revered mother. Farewell. So I don't think this terror was here before. So is there a way in? But maybe it was, who knows. But let's try to get in there, just kind of jog our memory. Because in here was a little chapel. A little chapel to Andraste, which is something. But not the full on chantry that I, that I requested. So maybe up here? A lovely carrying voice there, love. Hmm. I mean, looking at the geography, could that just be my quarters? I think that's exactly what it is. So no, it looks like there's no Chantry here just yet. Although there's a slight increase of presence in the, uh, of priests in here. I'm gonna check a couple more doors. Maybe it's a small affair, who knows. Nice outfit, like the bear head. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. Having said that, it is different. What's this? It's nothing, I guess. Um. Love them all. Hang on. Somebody said something here. Uh. Where's it done? Somebody said that when I spoke to Adan, there was an arrow sticking out of a roof outcropping that and maybe I should check it out. Harvest some fruit while I'm here. I can't see it just now, so maybe let's not worry about it. You built for them the golden city, the oh, do I have to replant it each time? Um, yeah, none of that. And... Blood Lotus. And, for a time and that can have Alfred. Lovely. Well, I believe that's it. Maybe this area will get more involved. I would, I would like a full-on church. But maybe it'll just be like a chantry garden, a place of, a place of worship in that way, and that's fine as well to an extent. Well, whilst I'm out here, let's do what I've been threatening to do for ages. Um, we had this Memories of the Great Unfinished Business. Uh, seek the Seekers. Since Seekers' strange absence, some of their high-profile cases have been left unchecked. Help Cassandra hunt the targets down. Western Approach, Empress de Leon, uh, take down Sir Rebinger Torn in the Frel and Hinterlands, and the Exalted Plains. There's also this. Inquisition troops march through Virtual with that incident. Very nice. Seeing red, so there's a bunch of red lurium deposits in the Storm Coast, which we could also check out to see if that door's opened because, um, 
there were a bunch of darkspawn coming through at various places. It's possible that door has since unlocked with that. And if so, we can get to a ton of the red learning deposits, which is awesome. Uh, Exalted Plains and Western Approach. Now you have one for that. Exalted Plains and Western Approach. Uh, and one for the Western Approach. So maybe we could go to the Western Approach and start dealing with those. And uh, Josephine's messengers have been murdered. Comp Boisvert. I'm sure there's a fancy way of pronouncing that. Claims to have information that could lead to the identity of the murderers. Under her skin, Calpurnia was... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's, that's the inner circle just there. So let's, first of all... Hmm... I think the best thing to do would be to nip over to the Ferelden Hinterlands. Because there's one there, we might as well get it done. So Rebinger, Rebinger Torn. And then we can get on to exploring new stuff. Maybe Sarah's uh, thing next, and then on to maybe the Western Approach as like a new area to explore. Yeah, that sounds like a fun lineup. Okay, well that's been about 20 minutes, guys. Um, this is uh, obviously a slightly shorter episode. I'm trying to aim for kind of roughly 25 minutes these days, but if I started something now, then that would just be terrible. So I'm gonna travel to the Frelden Hinterlands. We'll start the next episode there. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I shall see you in the Hinterlands.